All right. Hey, YouTube. I'm back. I got a lot of news for y'all. I don't know where to start. Um, okay. First of all, let me start by saying um, when I made my first video, I had just, I was on leave and I was on leave for like 10 days. Now I'm back. I reported for duty on February 26th. 2018 and I fucking been in the fleet for a whole two weeks now I think it's been two oh no it's only been a week I'm exaggerating no because we went underway for a week so you know what I've been in the fleet like two weeks so I didn't see no little little son, son, uh, uh, a little son, son. I can't explain to y'all but first, I gotta knock out boot camp for all of y'all that's about to go to boot camp. I'll explain to y'all about my little feet life in my next video. Um, what to take to uh, boot camp? I'm help the females out. Because then nobody helped me out. Or maybe they did, but I didn't listen. So, when they said leave everything at home, I'm thinking everything except my social security card, my ID, maybe a... Uh, change of clothes, have my granny panties, slow tight, slow t-shirt on deck. Okay, whatever. I'm thinking that's all I can take to boot camp. I'm not knowing <laughs> I can take my hair products. You know me. I got thick hair. Well, I fucking bought this, so this ain't mine. But yeah. Anyways, I'll explain my wig later. But um, yeah. So I didn't know we could have motherfucking Cantu. I didn't know we could have motherfucking Cantu. I know we can have motherfucking olive oil. I can't show it to y'all because like it's holding up my camera because I ain't got a computer. My computer not here. Anyways. But yeah, so I didn't know we could have like, you know, our personal hair products. I didn't know we could bring our own sanitary napkins, pads. Um, I'm gonna tell you. Cause um I need to explain this and I need to stress this. I cannot stress this enough. First I'm gonna touch on the hair, then I'm gonna touch on the other shit. First of all, <clears throat> If you don't bring your hair products, I mean, you don't have to bring it because you have to put it in your personal drawer. You have a personal drawer, and it's only so big. So, if it don't fit, it's going to be a bad day for you. So, don't be trying to bring the whole beauty supply because I know how some of, some of us females can get. You feel me? I'm going to type to buy up the whole fucking beauty supply. But anyway, so, you know, I cut my hair off when I went to boot camp because I wanted short hair because I don't want to deal with this shit. So, um... But yeah, if you want to keep your hair, make sure you take your own products. Because what they give you, your hair is going to be damaged as fuck by the time you get out of boot camp. I'm not sure if everybody here was damaged, but I know a lot of people was kind of missing their edges. But yeah, anyways. Um, so yeah, another thing. Um, you get to go to like the next the little store they have. And they do have Cantu and stuff. And if it doesn't fit in your AMB drawer, you are allowed to put it in like the... Um, the like locker that's in the bathroom which is for all the female hair stuff and that's fine but the thing is this is what made me mad <clears throat> I have thick hair so I need to use thick hair fucking products okay if you don't have thick hair stay away from my motherfucking cat too you can fucking use gel you can fucking use Pantene whatever the fucking shit they fucking put on the commercials I can't use that shit I can't wash my hair every day. If you can wash your motherfucking hair every day, you do not need to use motherfucking can too, okay? Do you fucking hear me? All right? That shit is going to piss off your fucking shit, mates. Like, we don't mind sharing. Like, it wasn't the thing. We didn't mind sharing. This shit is expensive, though. This shit is fucking expensive, okay? This shit wasn't cheap. But you feel me? If somebody needed to slip their hair down to keep it in rags, then okay. You could use some. But don't use it if you don't fucking need it. We need this conditioner. Because we don't have blow dryers out there. We got thick hair, okay? You don't need fucking Cantu if you can wash your hair every day. You better use that motherfucking dollar shit. If you ever been to the hotel and you can use that conditioner, dog, don't fucking touch my motherfucking Cantu, okay? Do you understand? So, Cantu, not for people with straight hair, not for people with, who can wash their hair every day without it falling out, okay? It's for thick, nappy hair, okay? Thick, nappy, soft, Whatever, if you can't wash your hair every day, you use fucking Cantu. Your shit is thick and it's hard to come up, you use fucking Cantu, okay? If your shit is straight as fuck and you can motherfucking flat iron your hair with the iron, don't fucking use fucking Cantu. Do you hear me? All right, cool. Glad we got that underway. Now, this is going to help you a lot. Tampons, pads. I recommend you take your own. 
I recommend you take your own. And if they can't fit in your AMD drawer, you can like put them in a the locker and you just let everybody know, do not touch my pads, all right? Listen. I had a hard time. First of all, I have a heavy flow. I don't know why. I fucking bleed like motherfucking. I'm finna have a baby in this bitch. No, like I already had a baby in this bitch. Basically, period. So fucking heavy. I feel like my first time having kids, I should have about 10 of those motherfuckers. That's just how I'm feeling. Anyways, getting a little too much in detail. But basically, I wear fucking diapers, okay? I wear motherfucking diapers. I see these always. These always motherfucking big ass. Fucking 10 hours supposedly lasting pads. Yeah, I fucking use them and change them maybe every fucking 30 minutes or something like that. I fucking don't fucking keep these shits on more than like 30 minutes. Because past that, it's just fucking ridiculous. Anyways, it's fucking nasty too. So, yeah, I wear fucking pads. I'm going to show you how big my fucking pad is. This how big this shit is. Big as fuck. And sometimes I got to wear two because they just get hectic, real hectic. Low key, I be wanting to wear motherfucking um diapers, like really grandma underwear, whatever fuck that shit got. Anyways, I had a hard time in boot camp. Okay, so look, these is always these not gonna fit in my A and B drawer, but um I didn't take my pass because I didn't know I could take them. I didn't know I could take those kind, and then I'm like, well, they said, well, it's a story you go to. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like, who not gonna have always maxi? The fucking next doesn't. Fucking went to the store thinking I'm finna get some pads. I'm like, oh yeah. First of all, they didn't have wings on it. Why the fuck you don't have fucking wings on them, dog? Where the, where the wings at? What the fuck? What the fuck? They got these little bitty ass pads for people who fucking bleed. Like fucking, like suckers. Shit, that's what I call that shit. Motherfucking suckers. Fuckers bleed like suckers. Hell yeah, motherfuckers bleed like suckers. The fuck? I had to put three of them fucking pads on. I had to put <laughs> I had to put three pads on, dog, just so I wouldn't leak through. Cause if you leak through, that's a bad day. We have fucking integrated divisions, dog. It'd be a fucking bad day. And we be fucking PT in this shit. My fucking PT short, it'd be a bad fucking day. So I tell my mom, um, I got a chance to send my first letter after fucking uh a month, it feel like. My mom sent me some pads and shit, so it was a good day and shit like that. But yeah, if you take your, if you could take your pads, take them. Cause first of all, the shit they have there, that shit not comfortable. That shit feel weird. I'm fucking used to always, and I just wasn't happy on my period. Anyways, I already be fucking sad as shit on my period. I fucking cry for everything. Motherfucker be like, "Good morning, Grandberg." <laughs> he bleeped at me when he said, "Good morning." <laughs> everything just make me fucking sad. Second of all. Motherfucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre going on my motherfucking uterus. Get some fucking ibuprofen when they recommend it at the doctor. Because if you like me, you're going to have to suck that shit up. And uh, luckily, I got some ibuprofen. So I took my ibuprofen. Good to go. Good day. But yeah, um, don't fucking be that person. Fucking if you need your own pads and you know the bullshit they going to have is not. All right. If you need your own pads and you know that. Every store you go to does not have the pads you wear. Take your own pads. Write your name on them. Tape them. Whatever you got to do. Tape them up. Write your name on them. Make sure everybody knows you bleed real heavy. And it's going to be a bad day if somebody mess with your pads. Because the ones they have at the next is just not going to do it for you. Let them fucking know. Let them know. Okay? Let them know. So, yeah. I'm sorry if you a male. You'll listen to this fucking video. But then again, you going to fucking have kids one day and shit. You gonna fucking know what the fuck blood is. And, um, yeah. Anyways, video over. That's what I'm gonna tell y'all about boot camp. Oh, um, I feel like I had some other shit to tell y'all too. But I think I forgot. Alright, so look, check this out. If y'all got any questions, any more questions, answers about boot camp, go ahead and comment it down and I'm gonna answer them in another video. Um, I kind of forgot everything i was supposed to tell y'all but yeah q and a's i'm down answer room i just want to let y'all know and i want to make it clear my boot camp experience was different because i fucking made it hard on myself i was fucking stupid as shit i fucking overthought everything you're gonna learn real easy they call it nuking shit stop fucking nuking shit i fucking nuked everything but i nuked everything in a not smart way 
That's why I got to it out every day. That's why boot camp was difficult for me. If you worried about boot camp, if you need some help, words of encouragement, whatever, you feel me? I ain't Hollywood. You feel me? You only got like 11 subscribers. I fucked with y'all for subscribing to my shit. Um, ask me some questions. Pardon me if I cuss too much for you. Don't play me around your kids. I cuss like a motherfucking seller because I'm a fucking seller. But um, yeah, if you're wondering what's on my shirt, I made a shirt because I was going away, and it says, Kiki, we going to miss you. And then it says, Future Seller Granberry 2018. Hold on, let me see if I can show it to you. Yeah, right here. It says, Future, oh, Farewell Future Seller Granberry 2018. Yeah, I was real extra when I was leaving. And, yeah, I had no choice but to make it because I was so extra when I left. It was like, damn, if you didn't fucking make it, you would have been looking dumb as hell. So, anyways, I made it. Next video will be about my first little underway I had. And, yeah, what the ship was like. The little time I was on it. And, yeah.